Hey guys, Richard from Match Tech. This is my next video I'm doing for you. This is GPU Thermal Paste application. I'm going to show you how to do it, what you got to do, and also why would you need to do it. So continue to watch. This is Richard from Match Tech. Goodbye. Hey guys. Right, so this is Thermal Paste application on a GPU. Now, first of all, we got to ask ourselves why would we want to change well, the thermal material between the dye as well as the heatsink first well one it's to lower temps now remember with thermal compound it does degrade over time with hot and cold hot and cold it's just the way things work so the what reason why you would actually want change the thermal paste on your GPU is for aka better temps so I'm going to show you what to do it's basically like doing it with a G with a CPU but the thing with a CPU unless you delete it it's got the IHS on top of the die so you don't accidentally break it so but with this there as you can see the die is is exposed as you can see below, it is it is exposed. Now this is my RTX 2070. This is me going to show you now what to do. Why you would need to. As I've already said, it would be due to um, the GPU overheating or stuttering. Because overheating can cause it to kind of it, it doesn't degrade itself it will down clock itself from killing itself it's exactly the same with the cpu now there's different types of brands there's there is thermal grizzly there is arctic there's corsair there's noctua there's a lot of different brands but the ones i use are either arctic which is mx2 i have got mx4 and then I've got Thermal Grizzly. Thermal Grizzly is better because of the heat transfer. It does. It can dissipate the heat a lot better. I'm going to use Thermal Grizzly. But I'm not saying that Thermal Grizzly is the best of all of them. But it's one. It is, well, perfectly to say, either the or one of the best thermal conductive, uh, thermally, uh, thermal compounds on the market so all you do is basically like doing with the CPU but you got to cover the whole die so we go like that and so we go like that and we go like this right okay so right and we go remember now with the GPU you want the whole die to be covered so uh, some thermal pits, some thermal compounds come with a little spreader, which I will show you now. I will grab it and show you what to do. Okay, so. Right, so. Right. Oh, right. that's the little spreader. So you just want to grab it from one end and you just want to spread it out. Right. So you just want to spread it out like that. Don't worry about any spilling over the sides because thermal grizzly isn't electrically conductive. It was it won't short out anything. But with the GPU, so you, you need the whole die covered. It's not just about uh, doing the whole die. You need every inch of the die because it is a die. It that's where the heat generates from. Just a tiny bit more. That should be fine. Yeah, you probably get loads of people saying I put loads on, but when it comes to a bad day, I would rather have more than less because it's exactly the same with dealing in the CPU. If you don't put every bit of thermal con uh, thermal paste on the day, then you've got a hot spot on the day, which 
will damage it over time also will cause overheating so right that's it that is okay so whoop, right let me chuck that oh, i've got loads of them anyway right so that's that that is thermal paste application for a gpu now what you're going to do is put it aside go like that you connect the mini cables you have got which that is And then line up the block on the side. Right. Okay, so one, two, three. There we go, like that. Right. Now you need to do it in a crisscross pattern to save from damage in the day. Okay, so right, you want to do it in a crisscross pattern because it's a bad day, you don't want to break it. So remember, crisscross pattern, it's to relieve the tension. Also, it helps the thermal paste to spread correctly right through. So what you want to do, you want to start off the thread, you just want to go like that, like that, like that, like that. That. that that like that and then you want to do a little one more just make sure you don't want to break the die obviously but there we go and that's that right that's thermal that's thermal paste application for gpu uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. Goodbye.